Hello, and welcome to this DJI tutorial video. This video will introduce the DJI Agris MG1S and show you how to assemble the aircraft. In the box, you will find the following items. The aircraft, two landing gears, the remote controller, the liquid tank, and three radar sensing modules, which are already mounted to the liquid tank. Attaching the landing gears, connect the hose clamps to landing gear ports, then attach the M3 times six screws and tighten them. Mount the landing gear with the compass cables to the right of the aircraft status indicator. Remove the cable clamps from the compass ports. Connect the compass cables to the compass ports, then reattach the cable clamps. Mount the right landing gear to the aircraft and be careful not to damage the cables. Then mount the left landing gear. Connect the anti-creep slides to the right landing gear. Secure each side of the right landing gear with two M3 times 10 screws at the front and one M3 times 10 screw at the rear. Secure each side of the left landing gear with one M3 times 10 screw at the front and two M3 times 10 screws at the rear. Mounting the battery ports. Mount each battery port to the landing gears at the bottom of the airframe as shown. Secure each battery port with an M3 times 22 screw. Connect an anti-creep slide to each side and attach two M3 times 18 screws to secure them. Mounting the spray tank. Unscrew the nuts on the delivery pump connectors. Slide one nut onto the white T-jointed hose and attach the hose to the left connector on the delivery pump. Then, slide the other nut onto the black T-jointed hose and attach it to the right connector. Tighten both nuts. Unscrew the nut on the white hose's T-joint and connect the nozzled white hose to the T-joint. Then, tighten the nut and repeat the same steps with the black hoses. Insert the two T-joints into the notches between the delivery pumps. The white hose T-joint should be placed above the black hose T-joint. Connect the black hose to the white hose with two hose clamps on each side. Make sure to align the white hoses outside of the black hoses to prevent the hoses from crossing. Align the clamp holes and use M4 times 8 screws to fix them onto the spray tank. Unscrew the spray tank cap and place the spray tank under the airframe with the delivery pump facing the rear of the aircraft. Pull the hoses through the gaps on landing gears. Position the spray tank with the injection port sticking out of the gap on right landing gear. Align the mounting holes with the plugs on the left landing gear. Insert the notch on the right of the spray tank into the connector on the landing gear. Push the right landing gear beams up to the marking line and tighten the screws on the beam. Use an M3 times 12 screw to secure the notch to the connector. Connect the radar cable to the radar port at the bottom of the airframe. Connect the left delivery pump cable to the left port and the right delivery pump cable to the right port. Make sure the radar clamp is tightened and the radar sensing module is properly installed. Unfolding the arms. Unfold the arms completely and tighten the arm sleeves. Make sure the arms are correctly installed. The M1 and M2 arms should be installed at the front of the aircraft and the M5 and M6 arms should be at the rear. Mounting the nozzles and hoses. Install the white hose nozzles to the bottom of the M3 and M8 motors. Then, install the black hose nozzles to the bottom of the M4 and M7 motors. Secure the four nozzles with 12 M3 times five screws. Place one hose clamp on each hose. Then, fix the hoses to the bottom of the arms with T3 times eight self-tapping screws. Connect each hose to the notches on the landing gears. Finally, attach the protection board to the right landing gear, which prevents the liquid from sloshing during injection. Mounting the battery. Insert the battery into the slot above the spray tank from the front of the aircraft. Secure the battery with the battery strap and battery clamp. To power on the aircraft, connect the cable to the power communication port. Then, connect the XT90 cable to the corresponding port. Then, the MG1S will power on. Installing a wireless adapter. Remove the four screws on the remote controller's back cover and remove the cover. 
Ensure a SIM card has been installed properly into the wireless network adapter. Then, connect the wireless network adapter to the USB port at the back of the controller. Mount the back cover and tighten the screws. Troubleshooting the wireless network adapter. Press the power button on the controller. Then, press and hold the button to power on the controller. Open the DJI app and tap Settings and choose Network Diagnosis. If the DJI Agriculture Management Platform shows as normal, the wireless network adapter and SIM card are functioning normally. Agris MG1S installation is now complete. Thank you for watching.